tidbit of the day. Okay, your words are so very powerful. I've done two videos on how your words are very powerful, and I got one more after this. So your words words are really, really powerful. Um, pretty much what you say will manifest. When you're in a moment and you are not in the present moment thinking and you're not acting from the present moment, you're reacting from the subconscious mind, which is pretty much our lashing out inner child um, that has not been healed by whatever it is that you're about to lash out on. Anger is a secondary emotion, so whatever triggered the first emotion is what came out of it from the secondary. Usually when somebody hurts me or makes me feel weak or makes me feel a certain type of way, um, sad, or they hurt my feelings, like, that's when my secondary of emotion of anger usually used to come from. But, yeah. So, example. I already put an example of a, up um, twice, but the, the last one was kind of like how this one's going to be. Um, actually... No, I'll do that one after. What was I going to do? I don't remember. Hold on. Tidbit of the day of how shame and guilt could actually be manifested into your life through your sacral chakra, which is your sexual, emotional, and relationships. We're going to talk about sexual shame, okay? This is a sacral chakra healing. Um, you can literally, if you wiggle your hips or look at yourself in the mirror naked dancing, the more you can look at yourself in the mirror dancing without feeling insecure is the more you're healing your sacral chakra. Or if you do like, um, hula dancing, you know, or if you do the hula hoop, you know, like if you just move your, I'll be in the car and I'll just feel like this. <laughs> Because you need to move your hips because that's where your sacral chakra is. And if you can untighten it and the wheel goes around, the circle goes around and around. Wow, sorry. I know that was weird. I just saw like an animal and I'm looking out my window right now. Like the way I am. Um. Anyway, shame or guilt. Say you're a little kid, right? And if, if you listen to these messages, like what I'm doing right now, they're all like, if you're a little kid, if you're this, this is all inner child work, okay? If you're a little boy and your mom walks in on you jerking off, right? And they're like, don't do that. That's wrong. Da, 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 da. You're going to grow up feeling shameful about wanting to have sex, wanting to jerk off, wanting to masturbate, wanting to feel that feeling. And it's going to follow you the rest of your life until you heal it. Like feeling embarrassed that your mom caught you. Feeling embarrassed of somebody catching you. Like it, you're going to have that subconscious feeling of that shame and guilt against masturbating, sex, your sexual, you know, life, identity, all that. So that's just something I wanted to add. All right. Bye, guys.